All right, let's get going. I made it. Okay, so you're probably wondering where exactly I am. And basically, I'm at Susquehannock State Park. So I figured I'd go a little bit further out this time. Last time I went to Gettysburg. You know, that was um, a decent drive, but it wasn't like too far for me. But this is like almost like a two hour drive. I left at like eight and I'm here at like almost 10 o'clock. So I'm right now, I'm just in like the parking lot. You can see just a bunch of gravel everywhere. Not really that well paved. And towards the back, there's only like two cars here. So, hopefully I find some people I can hand out some tracks to and stuff. If not, you know, I guess I'll just spend my time reading my Bible, enjoying the sightseeing, and um, maybe I'll be able to share some few tips with you guys and stuff. Um, good thing is that the restrooms were, you know, open here. A lot of parks I've went to, they haven't, you know, been open. They're like, you drive an hour somewhere and you can't go to the bathroom. I'm like, <laughs> man. So... You know, it is a really nice place to, you know, walk around and, you know, do stuff at. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to, um, this is like a really scenic view here. And the drive into here as well was nice. Um, you know, it's, and as I've gotten more experience as a driver, it's gotten more comfortable for me to drive. So I've been able to actually enjoy some of my, you know, trips and stuff. But there's a lot of like scenic r roads coming into here. You know, a lot of sharp dips because you're coming down to like the river and stuff. Uh, but then you get to like this bridge that, you know, connects, uh, I think York County to Lancaster County. It's like a, the view from it, it's like probably a quarter of a mile. And you can just see like the, the, the river and stuff and all that. And that was like really nice to see. So, you know, you got your map area here. I already got my map. So, I'm not gonna get lost here, hopefully. <laughs> and it's just really nice and just forested, you know. I brought my um, binoculars with me. And my backpack with all the food I'll need for this um, trip. And of course, if I can reach it. <sighs> no, it's on the other side. I got my gasable tracks on me. So, anyways, I'm gonna walk around. So I made it to um, a very nice overlook here. Right now I'm on the, uh, I forgot the name of it. I think it's like the um, the scenic route or something. Anyways, you can see, look at all that. You can see just the river from over here. It's very nestled and secluded through here. So it's a nice view. And you know, it's a nice place to just Sit down, relax, have a good time, and enjoy the view behind you. Okay, so I just gotta stop here. This is steeper than steep. Look at all of that. Oh my god. I'm gonna try and walk down here because it is a trail, but I'm gonna have to be really, really careful. I'll let you know when I get down there though. All right, so I made it through all that bramble and just look. Look at that steep drop. I don't think that was a trail, man. <laughs> all right, 
Ow. Oof. Guess I'm... Guess I made it. So right now I'm by this nice waterfall and I figure I'd just take a moment to stop and just to reflect on things. Man, it feels like it's raining a little bit here. But what I want to talk about is what do you do if you're in a situation where you can't minister to people, where there's no one around you to minister to, where there's no one around for you to reach out to and share the gospel with. Right, because I've been walking around this park and this is a really secluded place. I think I ran to like one guy and I tried to hand out my track to him. You know, he didn't want it. And that's the only contact basically, you know, being here that I've really had with anyone. And so what I want to talk about is what do you do if you're in that situation? If you don't have anyone you can minister to at the moment and you're just alone, kind of just alone in the wilderness or, you know, just at home or, you know, driving or something. Well, what you can do is you can, you know, reach out and talk to God, you know. I think a lot of Christians don't do enough of that, including me. <laughs> um, I'm no holy saint, man. <laughs> but, yeah, just take that time to build yourself up in that relationship with God. And God's always available, right? He says, you know, I, I'll put the verse up there, but he says, and this is paraphrasing, because I don't remember exactly what it says, but, you know, not seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be open to you. Ask it you, or I don't know if that's in that last part of it. But yeah, you just ask the Lord, you know, go to him. You know, anyone who puts their faith and trust in Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior to save them from their sins, who trust in God for their salvation, has open access because of what Jesus did in dying for our sins, has open access to God. It has open access to have that relationship with him. And so we can go to God the Father for anything, right? As long as we put our trust in Jesus Christ, we can have a relationship with Him. And He can guide us in our lives. He can tell us what, you know, His will for lives is. But you have to take that time to, that time to be still and talk with God. You know, the Word says, be still and know that I am God. Right, and... And Psalms 1 also, you know, talks about how that you know, we're supposed to be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, just like these trees, right? But right here, by this river, right by this road, you know, it doesn't rain here all the time. But these trees, because they're rooted by the water, you know, living water is the Word of God. If you're rooted in His Word, in that relationship with God, even when that drought comes, when those bad circumstances come, when you're rooted in that relationship with Him, you aren't going to dry up. But if you're all in the desert somewhere, you know, you aren't really taking that time to build that relationship with the Lord. Then when that drought comes, when those attacks from the devil will come, you're going to have a really hard time standing up against it. So you need to take the time that you have now to build up that relationship with the Lord. Become rooted in His Word. You know, find out what His will for your life is. Let Him guide you in His kingdom purpose for you. Because we all have a purpose, right? As saints, you know, once we're saved and we put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, we all have a place in the kingdom of heaven. He has a will for everyone in the kingdom of heaven. It's not all the same, but he wants us and he desires us to know his will for our lives. And so just build yourself up that relationship with God. Just start to really see him as that father for you to, you know, have guide you and really build that deep relationship with him. Well, I'm going to continue hiking out here and I'll catch up with you. Thank you. 
I guess at the next part. Okay, so I just stopped for another water break. I'm going up the Five Points Trail now, so I'm super high up, man. It's like, this park's like, it's like you're going up and down, up and down, up and down. Hundreds of feet up and hundreds of feet down, man. It's like, <laughs> it's crazy. And it, it looks like basically no one here. It's like pristine wilderness. The only thing you really hear here is like the wildlife and like the, the rivers and stuff. I mean, that's a pretty cool place. Um, let's see from over here. I'll give you a shot of the view. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Man, whew. this is like the last, you know, part I wanted to hit up here um, before I headed out. I figure this was just. You, know, you don't want to go here first because you know this is the best view you want to save the best for last right you don't eat your dessert before you eat your um <laughs> before you eat your broccoli or something no you know, your brussels sprouts <laughs> so yeah i mean it was like a successful time so far you know i got to um really enjoy myself got to minister at least a little bit um i tried to hang out some tracks there just wasn't that many people here to be honest with you i mean it is a Sunday too, and it's only like maybe 1230 ish. So I saw a bunch of people come in. Maybe I'll be able to hand out some tracks to them before I leave. But yeah, I mean, I'm just going to head out here. I might get some ice cream uh, before I have to drive all the way home. That's not going to be a, a short drive at all. So I have to make sure I use the restroom and all that stuff before I head out. But yeah, I just. You know, this is a really nice place to, you know, go and visit. If you're ever in this area, this part of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, you know, Susquehannock Park really is one of the nicest parks I've been to, in my opinion. But I'll see you on the other side, man. All right, so I am back. So I had a um, decent day. You know, I was able to hand out a few tracks. Um, some people said they didn't want some most said that, but... You know, a few people did want a message of hope. You know, that's what what I'm doing is about. You're just bringing hope into the world. You know, we're going out ministering the gospel to people, helping bring people to Jesus. You know, and hopefully some of those seeds that I sowed and that maybe you even will sow will bring forth some fruit in people's lives. And that's really what the most important thing is, is to, you know, have the gospel bring forth fruit. You know, even if it's not a lot of seeds, having at least one or two of those seeds do something you know, it makes all the difference, you know. So if you like this type of content, you could subscribe. If not, that's completely okay. Um, and until next time, see you around.